Okay, so this is my tutorial on how to watch something on NaviX. So from the XBMC menu, we scroll over, we go to Programs, we go to NaviX. Click on it, let it load, and you'll see this menu right here. There's a bunch of different ones you'll see. Uh, pretty much this, the only one you need to worry about in this menu for NaviX well, there's two actually. You can browse history so you can see if you were watching a show earlier and you want to find that same show or movie again, you go to browse history, you go in there, and it will show exactly what you've done on NaviX, and you'll be able to find it quicker. But if you want to just watch something new or whatever, just go to Extreme Media Portal. It's right on top. First file. Now there's a bunch of different things like you got Navi Network search. So if you want to specifically search for something, it's there. Um, pretty much, don't worry about anything. Just go to viewed most 24 hours ago or seven days or recently updated. Uh, that's the newest content. It's the best content. But feel free to mess around with it. Just don't change any settings. That's about it. It works pretty fine the way it is. But feel free to explore the folders and. It's a big program and I don't have enough time to make a big video about it. So, let's let this load. So I went to the 24 hours uh, folder. So right now it's going to load a bunch of different subfolders. That's why it's taking a little bit because it loads a lot of stuff. Just got to be a little bit patient. Still loading. <clears throat> now sometimes this part takes no time and then other times it takes a long time. And there we go, it just loaded. As you can see there's a lot of stuff, so that's why it took a long time. So we're gonna go look at different folders so if you want to watch sports you have sports channels that has stuff in there like live sporting events like pay-per-views and stuff like that uh, you got tons of movie folders you got live TV this Kim 05 TV live sports Kim TV live movies that's basically like channels like HBO and and movie flicks and stuff like that and you got live TV as well it has a bunch of different channels like live channels ABC CBS ESPN but those the live channels are hit and miss either they work or they don't it's different every day a channel might not work one day and it might work the next day it's just the way it is the guy that sets it up he has he sets up all streams that have nothing to do with it uh, so let's just watch a movie for example Again, if you're looking for a t specific TV show or movie it's better to search for it so then you don't have to go finding it but if you're just browsing for something to watch. Again, this is uh, BM's HD movies. This is where I go to watch all my HD content. Uh, let's just find the movie here. So you just go down. Uh, let's watch The Cold Light of Day. So you hit enter. Just let it load. You see it's working let it buffer and there you go now with this any HD movie it's important to pause it like that and just let it run on pause for three to five minutes but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to show you this works but it's best to do that so then you can watch the movie in full without without having the buffer halfway through the movie and that's really annoying so let's just play this. Let's see if HD quality, sound, everything. Perfect, clear, can't complain. Not bad for free. I'll go to another one to show you. Just it works. Let's go to Avengers. Now you might get where you click it and nothing happens. That means that the link for that movie is dead. And usually if you check back a day or so later, it's back up. This program's really solid. As you can see, it's working now. Click on the Avengers.
sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it doesn't. Depends. It's like this one's not buffering. So sometimes you get this where it just won't buffer. It takes a long time. And if you press play, it, it will play, but it will stop halfway through. So your best is to let it sit for like five minutes and then try to watch it. But if it starts stuttering, stepping, it's just because the link for that movie is the server itself. It, there's problems with it. But it's easy. You can just find another copy of it in search. It's not really that hard. You have more than one option. That's what I like about this. So there you have it. That's your NaviX tutorial.